Hello everybody. What I'm going to show you a four part series on how to manage dimensions in draft. Mainly I'm going to be uh, concentrating on this uh, uh, smart dimension, uh, distance between, all the way to uh, range dimensions. Uh, so the first one I want to show you is the uh, retrieve dimension. That would be this one right here. So uh, If you already have dimensions added to the part as PMI, why not just use them as well? What you do is uh, when you click on that on the uh, command user interface, you have a couple options here. Uh, you could have either add dimensions, which that's what we want, or remove dimensions. If we add dimensions, and uh, I just want to say, for example, I want to use a linear, uh, radial, uh, angular, and uh, let's see annotation. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them. And by simply selecting the view here and accepting that, and you know that Solid is gonna go out there and just uh, put them in there for you. And you can see that you've done that. Uh, I got linear, got the radio dimensions there. I got some annotations here. I believe someone one at the bottom there as well. There it is. Uh, but in this case, uh, I only wanted to concentrate on um, uh, linear. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and come back here and remove. And at this point, I'm going to simply come back and uh, say, you know what, I'm only going to remove uh, radio and uh, angular and uh, annotation. So I'm going to come back and say, you know what, that's only what I want. Uh, if I wish, I could go say, you know what, I changed my mind. I only want to add. So you basically toggle what you want to add, right? So I'm going to say I want to add a radio here. So I'm going to go back and check on that. And you can see that you get the ones that you want. Uh, so I'm just going to remove those as well. So I'm just, there you go. So I want to just keep the uh, linear dimensions. OK. Uh, another uh, tip here is if you want to just simply remove dimensions, uh, obviously it's only going to remove the dimensions you have added with the um, retrieve dimensions. In other words, if I want to say, you know what, I want to get rid of everything. So I could simply click on, let's say this was a more complex drawing, you want to just get rid of everything. Click on everything in here and say, you know what, remove everything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to simply come back and say, you know what, I only want these right here. Because I'm going to show you some other stuff here. Okay, so I only added those linear dimensions. Okay. So, uh, for example, now the next one is the um, arranged dimensions. In some cases, this one just happened to have a nice uh, where you uh, you treat those dimensions, they came out nice. In some cases, that may not be the case. I'm going to simply kind of move them out here manually so that way I can prove my point here. Let's say that when you did bring in these dimensions, they were out there and, and you know they were just kind of everywhere. So I could come back and simply just grab them here, push them here, right? Uh, so I'm going to go in here and select the range dimensions. And what that's going to do is if I say select the view and accept that, see what it does? It kind of puts them out there. So basically what it does, it uh, prevents you from overlapping dimensions on drawing views, geometry, and annotations, right? So kind of cleans it up for you in a nice way. Okay, one other thing I want to point out. All right, what you saw what it did here, it put a, a uh, stack pitch, right? So let's say if you don't want that, um, I want to go ahead and uh, say, oh, well, I want to change that. I maybe want to make that, I don't know, 1.0. So what you do is simply change the value there and select the view again. Yeah, there you go. OK, so accept that. And you see how it changed? Um, let's say I want to make it a little bigger, 1.5, for whatever reason you want to do that and select the view again and accept that. You see how it kind of changes that pitch there? Uh, obviously we don't want that so I'm going to make that uh, let's say 0.75. So I'm going to select that again and accept that. And There it goes. So that kind of looks more reasonable, right? Uh, the other thing is if I wanted to say create a group. Notice that if I go ahead and uh, so simply move them and they're kind of independent from each other and I want to maintain a group, set a group there. So I'm going to simply go back and use my uh, retrieve dimensions and I'm going to remove them and just kind of put them in there for you again. 
and add them again. Okay. If I go back to this command, arrange dimension, but if I click on this one here where it says create alignment set, so what that's gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and just simply do this again. And you don't have to, I'm just showing this that you have that capability just like I did earlier, I'll show you that, where it gives you a nice uh, stack pitched. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. So I'm gonna select that. And this time I'm gonna have it where it says create alignment. And as soon as I click on that view, and if I go ahead and try to move them, ah, uh, look what it did. See that? It basically created a uh, created a alignment set. It's kind of nice. Okay. There is three methods on how to create alignment sets uh, using the uh, arranged dimensions. Uh, the first one you saw me doing that earlier. I simply selected the um, the view here and I accepted that. Uh, that's one method. Uh, if I go back and do that, if I go do it over again, I could simply select, let's say for example, only one and maybe certain dimensions. For example, maybe those and uh, these, this one right here and accept that. And you see that it only created for those right here. Uh, that's what you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then the last one is if I want to just window in all of those dimensions, you could do that as well. And you can see that. Moving forward with the next one. Uh, it's called maintain alignment. If I grab one of these dimensions and if I hover one of the uh, uh, over the other, you see how it creates a little gray dotted line there? If I let go, uh, ideally, you're supposed to create a, uh, a set, a maintain alignment set here, but it didn't do that. So if I go back again and actually make sure I turn it on and do exactly the same thing, and I kind of hover over that dimension, and this time it created a maintain set. See that? And if I go to those other ones right here, let me lose a little down here. And if I go, if I want to maintain, let's say for example, create a little set on the fly. For example, I want to make these uh, as a group here. And the other ones are up there by themselves and create another one here. Or if I want to combine them all these two into one. If I hover over that dimension, and there it is, see that, it's all one. The next one is, Let's say that I already have a group here and I want to split that into two. If I right click on one of these dimensions, uh, so I go ahead and click on that one and simply go into a split uh, alignment set. And you see the one that I select stays magenta, but as soon as I hover on top of that, the dimensions on top of that uh, dimension I selected, they kind of turn red. If I move my mouse down here, see how it turned red again? And I guess you could say that this dimension I selected first is kind of your divider of which direction is going to go. If I go outside of this area here, see nothing really happens. So you can make sure that you're in within this area here. All right, so if I go out this direction, it's going to make those a set. If I go down here, it's going to make them. So I'm going to go up in this direction. You can see that. And as soon as I click, see that? It divided into two, so that's one set of here and another one. All right, now again, I can combine them, right? And now they're one. And now, if you want to split it again, right click, split alignment set, and it's just this time you decide which way. Say, I want to create these right here, and I'm going to go to the bottom this time, and you see that right there. Okay, that would do it for our part one. Stay tuned for our part two on managing dimensions in draft. Thank you.